Hello everyone, and welcome to Signalis. And this has to be by far the most requested game on the channel right now, so I couldn't ignore it. To be honest, the reason I've ignored it for so long is because even just looking at the visual style and some of what this is about, I kind of thought it wouldn't really be super fitting for the channel. It's also sort of lengthy at like 8 to 10 hours, so it's going to take me a little while to get through this one. But you guys have really been campaigning for this, and at a certain point, I just cannot ignore it anymore. Hmm, sounds like a voice over a loudspeaker or something. Now, all I know about this is that it's a survival horror game heavily stylized in its visuals, and it takes cues from things like Silent Hill. This, however, is a sci-fi horror story. And beyond that, I guess we're just gonna have to find out. This game has also been extremely praised for its narrative, so it's probably got more for us than scares. Oh, look, you actually follow our mouse cursor. And is that something reflected in your eye, or is that something glowing from within your eye? Let's check it out. Wake up. This is a really cool perspective. It's like 2D pixel art, but not really, because clearly it's actually three-dimensional. Our character doesn't seem too worried, so maybe we're not leaving on to some cataclysmic event, but even just sitting here in silence for a moment, looking at those blinking red warning lights, uh, it's already got such a lonely feeling to it. A lonely feeling which only increases the further we go without encountering anyone. Penrose-type vessels of the Usen People's Navy are low-cost space exploration vessels deployed beyond the solar system's edge. In the search for planets and moons fit for habitation, or rich in natural resources to support the continuous growth of our great nation. All Penrose vessels are piloted by a Gestalt scout officer, supported by a land survey slash ship technician replica. This partner system of Gestalt replica cooperation has proved successful in countless previous scout operations. Mutual control and support allow both the Gestalt officer and the technician replica to perform at their optimal capacity. Once the vessel is catapulted towards the edge of the solar system by an orbital mass driver, the pilot may adjust the course from the flight deck, while the replica will take care of mechanical maintenance of the vessel. And which one are we? I'm guessing the replica? Which, if it's anything like Blade Runner, means that our humanity is in question. Actually, where is our partner then? They just told us there's supposed to be someone else here. Or there was someone else here. Smear diary page. Woke up from cryo. Something empty mess hall. I was wondering. Elster's looking out. Flight deck. Like some lost in thought. Sometimes I feel. Something home. So not only are we the only one, it's entirely possible that we've been the only one for some time. Unless you're in cryo as well? Uh, I don't, I don't know... I don't know how to release you, and I don't feel like I should be touching anything until I do. Diagnostic systems for the cryogenic capsule. Okay, so we can examine objects in the environment, even if it doesn't necessarily tell us what they do. Hmm. 
Oh, there was a side room over here. All right. Uh, it can be kind of hard to tell what's an exit. LSTR features repair logic module. Serving our great nation as ship technicians aboard the scout vessels of the Penrose program, LSTR-type replicas like yourself are equipped with a specialized repair logic module, allowing them to quickly and easily repair both themselves and important mission equipment. So we've got repair abilities built in. Accessing the RLM functions. Enter the inventory screen by pressing tab. Select the item to repair with AD, press F to open the command menu, and select combine to enter combine mode. Sometimes it can be helpful to take a good look at the object from all sides. Ooh. So we're going to have to inspect objects like it's Resident Evil, which is, I believe, another one of its inspirations. Anyway, we can inspect the console and see what we've got here. Uh, status, critical system failure detected. Location, unknown planetary surface. Uh, and there's us. I am active, no signal from our pilot. Hard landing on surface is damaged critical systems. So are we waking up to this, or have we been stranded here for some time? Ah, I can actually mess with the environment, and yes, I want to take the adhesive tape, uh, which I can use presumably to repair myself and other things. So as technician, I guess a lot of the puzzles we need to solve are going to be very technical. You can also exit through the bottom right here. Mm. Look, we even cast a shadow like that. There's actually a fair amount to explore, and now we're moving into a first-person view where I can actually look around to a limited extent. Uh, given the suit right there, perhaps this leads out and onto the surface. I don't think we want to be doing that just yet. Lock is defective and cannot be opened. Ooh. Things are cold and icy on the surface of this planet. I don't think anybody is coming to help. The ship's control panel. Judging from the readout, there's no chance it'll ever fly again. Alright, well, we've really got to pull something out then. A faded photograph is stuck to the LDAM controls. Pick it up? Of course. Given the framing, is there another person burned out of the other side? The starboard controls panel. The controls aren't responding to any input. Probably an electrical failure. The port controls panel. There's been a critical system failure due to the hard landing. The landing and docking assist monitor. It's of no use to me now. All variations of the same thing. Point being, we're not getting out of here under our own power. Let's have a look at that inventory and see if we can do anything there. Oh, by the way, I just got it seeing that logo, Elster. That's where we get our name from. Uh, a photograph taken on self-developing film. Despite the damage, Arion Young can still be seen on it. Ah, so that's, uh, that's presumably who we're trying to get out of the cryo chamber. And we need a key card to use the airlock. Meaning we're not doing any EVA for the time being. The suit has been removed from the case. Maybe you're not in there at all. Alright, let's see what we got going here. I believe it was you, 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 you. And that should be all we need, right? Yeah, we already got the hint that you wouldn't actually be present. 
And I didn't even get a chance to make a Lord Vader can you hear me joke. Two pieces of a key snapped in half lie inside the cryogenic pod. Pick up airlock key. Oh, I see. Well, nothing a good bit of tape can't fix. There we go. Let's combine you with you. And now we get the key card. Meaning we can pursue you across the surface. You didn't want me to follow you. Or at least that's my read of things. Alright, now do we really not want to take this? Or maybe we need the key card to access it. Either way, let's use it. And there we are. Thus showing that even though we are potentially synthetic in nature, we do in fact require this stuff. Oh. This game is doing real interesting things with perspective. Things you wouldn't necessarily expect, but... In spite of the heavy snowstorm, or at least the heavy snow being carried by the breeze... We can see some kind of formation up ahead. And again, God doesn't build in straight lines. Oh no. Don't even ask me. Don't even ask me. Oh, as soon as my brain parsed what I was looking at, oh thank you, I just didn't even want to think about the process of going down those stairs. Some snow falls even down here, but I also don't think I wasn't aware of the weird blackish spatter around the outside. You really want me to crawl into that? There's a strange hole leading deep into the ground. There's a faint light glowing in the deep. Crawl into it? Well, what choice do we have? At a certain point, I feel like I'd feel much better just waiting to die on the ship. At least it's comfy there. This is claustrophobic and menacing. Excuse me? That's the same insignia that was on the back of our own ship. What? There's something very, very off-putting about discovering a room that could belong to, like, your friend Jim at the bottom of a hole on a distant planet. There's a locked safe here. Not only with its own lock, but chains all around. Dark pictures of a coastline and an island. Are they photographs? The national flag. And a computer right here. Which presumably will be our best source of information, right? Unless we simply can't use it. The computer screen is blank. Yeah, I can see that. There's a red glow coming from beyond this door. The door won't open. Where could it possibly lead to? A light switch. 
I'd rather not turn it off. I don't blame you. An old wooden wardrobe, which we presumably cannot search. An ancient looking tome is lying on the table. It feels like it's calling to me. Pick up the king in yellow. Oh no, we're getting into like weird fiction themes. Picked up the king in yellow. There's that tone again. Preparing to send message. Great holes secretly are digged where, where Earth's pores ought to suffice. And things have learned to walk that ought to crawl. Oh my, we're like decomposing. Remember our promise. Wake up. We even have reflections in this dingy old bathroom. I came all the way here to find her. There's no turning back now. Oh. Bathroom stalls in various states of disrepair. Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to see what the bathroom stall shell game is like in third person. So where are we now? How much can how, how much of what we just went through actually occurred? Let's have a look at our inventory. We still we still have the photograph only now it shows someone different. It looks like the pigment was damaged by time and exposure to the elements. And can we zoom in? There's a signature on the back there. Yeah, a photograph taken on self-developing film, despite the damage, Alina Sio can still be seen on it. So there's like a parallel being drawn here, but it's not the same. Welcome to S23 Serpinski. You've been selected or have elected to be relocated by Jan to S23 Serpinski. Located on Lang, at the frontier of the solar system, S-23 Serpinski is the perfect place for a new beginning. At our prestigious, redacted in the brochure, vocational school facility, you will learn new skills to shape your future as a productive citizen of our wonderful nation. Here you will learn all about mineral extraction, ore refinement, and munitions production, helping the war, en helping the war effort against the remnants of the Empire. So we're a nation at war, are we? And of course, learning is not just about theory. Jan lets you earn your share while practicing your new craft right at the workplace. Concerned about your family, friends, former colleagues? Ask Protector about our ration sharing plan. 
A portion of your ration marks will be sent to a beneficiary of your choice. What a life. Also, sorry if my voice is a little rough. I just came off a pretty long record session. Um, that is so trippy, seeing the reflections in this view. There's a keycard with a note taped to the window of the reception. Due to staff shortage, report new arrivals at classroom 4C. I'll take it, I guess. Man, they can't even have somebody here to meet us. And there we go. But what does this have to say? The surface access lift. I don't need to go back. Uh, that camera up there is following us as we go. And are we seeing below this grate to a lower level right here? Locked and requires a key. Well, I'm sure we can find one somewhere. And lock is defective. Lock is defective. Oh, only one way through. The rule of six. Remember the rule of six. Never carry more than six items on your person. Private property is a privilege. Keep your pockets empty and your bag light. I wonder how much of this is for good reason, and how much is in the name of ideology. Now I know why there was nobody at reception. The thing is, I don't know what my character knows. I don't know anything about this world. A dead Yule unit. She's in a horrible state. Infected-looking biocomponents are bulging out of her damaged shell. What happened to her that would cause this? Okay, so we just learned the critical piece of information, which is that this is unexpected to you. I mean, you're gonna have to work with me here a bit. The cameras still follow us, but is this automated, or...? Is this someone cowering in a security room somewhere, begging for me to come help? And if the person we're looking for is here, who knows what kind of state they're in. Protocol everything. Remember, if you didn't write it down, it never happened. Get the right forms from administration and save your files frequently. Oh, believe me, I control S after every little thing I do in Vegas. Service request form F29. Uh, the wall safe in classroom 4B keeps resetting to the default combination. What's the point of the whole radio code broadcasting system if our safe can only be opened with the code in the manual? Alright, so we're on the hunt for a manual. Oh, we save right here. Alright, uh, hopefully it's not limited saves. But we are going to want to save frequently. And there are four slots, so we're able to stagger them. Memorandum Wall Safe Codes It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequencies for the protector wall safes. Any workers connected to this leak are to be interrogated until the culprit is found. I'm restricting all radio privileges for workers until further notice. Alright, so we've got a bit of a unique uh, system here. But this place is a maze. Or at least it will be until I can understand it better. How do I know which classroom this is? No running in the hallways. Be mindful of your neighbors. Everyone can hear you run. Well, the other room was, like, in-universe advice that turned out to translate to real advice, so I'm gonna assume that making noise might actually attract some unwanted attention. Well, let's try venturing further down in another body. 
Why was she abandoned here? Well, if nobody's picking up the bodies, that means no one else is here. Or at least no one in control. But most of these locks are not working. And this place has been pretty trashed, or at least left in a hurry. An aperture card microfilm viewer. If I had an aperture card, I could view its content here. A replica is a biomechanical person. Synthetic reproduction of a gestalt, or gestalt, however you pronounce it. Biological culture grafted onto an artificial endoskeleton and enclosed in a protective exoskeleton. So, the people part is the cream in the Oreo, is the scientific way to describe that. Uh, and a, a gestalt is a, simply a person that is not a replica. Hmm, so, seems whether you're human or not, you're getting dehumanized all around. A simple first aid kit. I can't use any of these since they're not designed for replicas. Start moving up here then. My shadow did stuff I didn't like. We've even got a split shadow from multiple sources. Uh, what about up here? You're still alive. An Elster unit? You should leave this place. This facility is lost. Turn back before it's too late. I'm looking for this woman. Have you seen her? I don't know her, but she might be one of the workers. All Gestalt workers were sent to the mine below the facility. If she's still alive, she's probably down there. There's an access elevator to the mine shaft one level below, but you'll need an administrator's key to use it. Okay, but what about you? There's a first aid kit way back there. Can I get that for you? Something over here as well. Uh, pick up the protector key, yes. I'll be out of here as soon as this repair patch stops my bleeding. You should get out of here too. I don't know who that woman is, but she's probably dead by now. If you still want to go, good luck. Alright, well I guess you don't need it then. And you calling me a unit, I assumed you were fully human, but I guess not. Well, I can get through here now. Go through there. And here's the security room that I thought somebody might be watching me from. Nothing here. A gun. Pick up pistol? Uh, yes up pistol and aperture card which I can use at that reader type 75 pistol user manual the type 75 pistol is a short recoil operated locked breech semi-automatic pistol chambered chambered in 10 by 20 this reliable versatile handgun is the standard issue sidearm for yon protector controller staff replica users Remember to first equip the Type 75 pistol in the inventory screen to designate the pistol as your primary weapon for the targeting module. To deploy the weapon, hold right click to disengage the safety and enter targeting mode. While in targeting mode, uh, left click and space will both fire the weapon. R will initiate a reload. Remember, do not waste ammunition, for it is a resource of the nation. When a target is down, try to finish it off by kicking or hitting it with a baton to preserve ammunition. Okay, so we've got the Silent Hill 2 thing down. 
memorandum terminology. I announce the following by order of Yon. Due to recent events, in accordance with the new Yon Public Interest Media Regulation, the term something, which is currently in use in various Yon facilities, is no longer permissible and must no longer be used. Premises and departments that are currently using the term are to be immediately renamed. Hmm. Wonder what that's about. Management personnel shall black out the term from all signage and documents until replacement terminology is announced by Yon. With immediate effect, usage of the term in conversation and correspondence is an offense. Obscenity to the state. To be punished with two cycles of double work shift. It may not be easy, but we all have to do our part here. Always remember, our language shapes our world. A perfect world requires a perfect language. Hmm. So, is this a case of, like, constant euphemism treadmill going on? I can see an empty classroom on the other side of the window. The glass seems like it's tinted. Or a one-way mirror. Oh! Oh, oh, okay, okay, nope, 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 not, not even, uh, don't even have time to think about dealing with that. Can you come through doors? That's the, that's the next question. So, it's like an infection. You can become a thing, look. Our, our dot actually appears on the adjacent surfaces. Oh god, that screech you made. Alright, let's go through. Look at you standing there. Okay, and let's, uh... How do I, how do I, oh, come on, how do I, how do I do it? How do I fight you? How do I, how do I, how do I hit you? Yeah, I, I, I just reloaded. Because you didn't tell me how to stomp them. Is it C, maybe? C? Oh, F. Alright. I would have liked some indication of that before, but your body is still jittering and vibrating. Does that mean that you could potentially get up on me? Also be ready over here. Oh, hello. You don't belong here either, do you? Um, Issa. Issa Ato. You should be careful. There's something wrong with this place. I don't know what happened, but it's probably dangerous to go any further. That's okay. I understand. I have something I need to do, too. Take care. I hope you find who you're looking for. Something tells me we'll be seeing you again. I can't remember her name, but that whole encounter, although brief, really reminds me of that woman you meet in the graveyard in Silent Hill 2 near the beginning. We didn't learn much, but the whole thing just feels off. Well, we should be able to have a look at our film now. A uh, high security wall safe. Yep, here's the manual. The wall safe complies with the use in public safety equipment regulations 41 and 43 and features a high density craft stall door secured with a numeric keypad. Enter the code using the keypad, press the confirm key in the lower right corner, rotate the dial on the left to open the door. To clear any previously entered digits, press E in the lower left. Uh, 204512. Now this tells us how to set a new code, but I don't think we actually have to do this. For now, we'll just remember 204-512. And be on the lookout for any other things on the way back. I still don't trust this corpse to be a corpse. This game's got quite a soundtrack to it as well. 
I'm actually not sure what it reminds me of or what it is that it's making me feel. It's like walking down a hall, dreading a certain outcome, but already knowing what you're going to see. Alright. Come on. 204512. There we go. And there's our pass. Why this needed to be a safe is anyone's guess. But I guess we'll only find that out once we get beyond the door. I do not have high hopes for our friend back this way. She said she was getting out of here, and I truly do wish her the best. Uh, repair patch, I'll take it. And more ammo. I guess she left us a gift, huh? What did that look? We can see how the floor is, like, bent inward. We can't look up to see if something similarly crashed through the ceiling, but that doesn't seem to be the implication. Look, all these desks and chairs stacked up, like, in a circle around it. It's gonna want us to jump down there, but I really don't want to. There's a hole in the ground. It looks like I can drop down safely. Well, define safely. Well, let's do it. Oh my god. That's what you look like? Is that meant to say that I'm seeing that directly in front of me? No, this hallway's blocked off. So what was I seeing right there? Are those, like, visions that are coming to me? This is a world where we can't trust corpses. We've established that. There's one right there as well. And I can't just stomp on each of you. Are you the turns that have already been put down, or what? And just what is it that's happening here? I mean, it was already described as some sort of infection to the bioorganic tissue. But we're really getting into the survival part of the survival horror now. I am not expecting much from you. I expect a bit more from you. Is this level two, or are you stuck at a different level? Okay, we can enter you. West Wing keycard required. Okay, the first thing of any new area is going to be just mapping it out in our head. It's so dark. It is so very dark. It said that all the human staff were sent down to the mine, but is it possible that the mine is where whatever this is comes from? Really wish I could see more than two feet in front of my face. We can enter this room back here. My god was really, really startled by those suits hanging on the bunks for a moment. Let's have a look. 
I'm a Project Zomboid player, so obviously I don't fall into this camp, but some people will look at a game like this and say, oh, it's so amazing, in spite of its graphics. And that's just not how it is. Like, style isn't a sliding scale of quality, where, like, the low end is top-down 2D and the high end is first-person 3D. This game looks this way because it's needed to establish its mood and its tone. If it looked any other way, it just wouldn't have that unique voice that it speaks to you in. And it needs a unique voice because it seems like it's trying to get across some very unique themes. Diary. The protectors have been worried lately. They're hiding something. There's less of them. Ration plan keeps changing. Alina says I'm imagining. Something at them, I can feel their fear like it's my own. What are they scared of? So there was awareness of this even before. But look, that whole presumably dream sequence in the beginning, that random room on a distant world, the king in yellow, that's introducing almost Lovecraftian vibes here. You got your Lovecraft in my sci-fi horror, which is not exactly too huge of a leap. But I still want to learn more about where it's going with this. Two cameras, simply for a crew quarters. Scrawled note. Kick them while they're down. Somebody who also was in a position to fight back? I wonder how long this has been going on for. That note mentioned Alina. Alina's diary. Feeling a little lightheaded today. I hope it's not that new flu that seems to be going around. I can't afford to miss any more shifts. That storch at the factory was chewing me out for what felt like hours for fainting at work the last time I got a cold. I haven't seen Elster the last few days. I hope she's okay. More and more people go missing in the mine lately, including replicas. Not even the protectors seem to be safe. So everyone is essentially referred to by their class, by their status. That's not a good thing to read, so this was spreading in here and she may have contracted it early on. Another request form. Uh, the, the lock on the staff door in A6 is jammed again, requesting a locksmith. Uh, electronics reset key is nowhere to be found. I set up a lock picking kit, but management bumped the elevator engines up in priority. So next shift, we'll have to pick the lock. And it's just trial and error at this point. Find me if you need a key to open the service hatch. Or ask management, whatever. Uh, somebody was really fed up. Even their DIY solutions are being subverted. Well, we can get on the elevator. And have a look inside. Oh, service hatch key. So we can't even use this thing otherwise. So there's the service hatch key, and here's our whole convoluted whatchamacallit. Uh, Alright, so here's... Mm, an ultrasound sensor mounted to the side of the lock, and it's connected to the lock picking device. Uh, okay, so... None of these seem to be doing anything, though. And there's one that corresponds to each pin. Okay, so I've got them all touching the bottom. But is that actually what I was trying to do? Oh, or maybe... The only thing I can think is that I need to hit the edge uh, of the middle on that dark line. Alright, if that is to be the case, then it should be possible to just adjust number two until 
We get it, there we go. It was not exceptionally clear what the desired result was there. But we got it. And now we're into a new nightmare. And it's at this moment that I am forced to consider the fact that I have not saved in quite some time. The box is locked. It looks like it requires some sort of square-shaped key. Yes, I see we're wearing those Resident Evil inspirations on our sleeve. It's locked East Wing key required. So this is our main hub, is it? And from the look of that symbol on the wall, this is probably the infirmary. Oh god, this is probably the infirmary. Or maybe just a first aid closet. A uh, storage. Well, remember, we can only carry six items. So, uh, maybe this is all we've got. I wonder what the consequences then would be of trying to leave our photograph behind. If there's something that would cause that to be a problem in certain parts. Well, we can take the repair patch. I'm going to assume that these probably don't... Oh, they do stack in our inventory. Okay, this looks like an office. So this is like the admin block. Uh, memorandum wall safe codes. Uh, it has come to my attention that at least one worker... Yeah, we, we, we've seen that already. Oh, disposable stun prod 2. Uh, due to recent events, all facility staff members are encouraged to familiarize themselves with the use of electro-impulse devices. We have been supplied with a shipment of EIG-2 disposable stun prods for training purposes. Please refer to the enclosed handbook for more information. Uh, the stun prod is single-use, short-range disposable, non-lethal solution for incapacitating non-cooperative individuals. It can be equipped to the tool slot in the inventory screen. Once equipped, it will be shown on the lower left of the inventory. Uh, it can be used with one hand while on the move and even while aiming another weapon. Once equipped, simply press C when facing a nearby enemy. Oh, I see. So it's a disposable get-out-of-jail-free unit. Uh, warning, high voltage electric discharge may arc to individuals close to the target. Use with care, do not deploy on elderly, pregnant, or individuals with known heart disease unless absolutely necessary. Dispose of stun pod properly after use. Will do. Although I imagine it won't give me a choice. Uh, more ammo, I'll take that. And now I've got the east wing key. Oh, this is a thing. Interrogation report. Uh, Wilhelm Chen. Contraband found in locker. Result confession. Punishment no food. Three cycles. Uh, Michaela Wong. Illegal use of radio. Confession. ISO two cycles. ISO has an isolation. Uh, Wolfgang Wong. Illegal use of radio, presumably the other recipient and family member, expired during interrogation. Franz Ho, obscenity to the state, passed out during interrogation, punishment double work shift, two cycles. And Emily Huang, trespassing, expired during interrogation. Well, if it was trespassing, maybe she found something? That looks like a wall safe over there. I wonder if the same will still apply? No. Since we just got the stun gun, I'm real wary of attack as soon as I step outside. And that unlocks from the other side. You know, as a general rule of thumb, when something is locked down, I assume it's locked down for a reason. But I guess we're on our way now. 
And although it's kind of hard to tell in the glow of the emergency lights, it definitely looks like something is smeared across the ground. And we can go through here. Oh my god. All of you with cleavers. It's like you're preparing meat, but do you even eat? I'm gonna just leave for now, since you haven't noticed me. <laughs> that shadow will never not terrify me the way it creeps across the wall as soon as I enter an area. Even the fans in the crew quarters, like, they just move in such a way where it catches you off guard. That's red. A red lock symbol on the one on the left. No, nope, why are you turning around? Yeah, I think someone is inside. I'm ready on that C. Here we are. Isometric stall game. It had to happen sooner or later. Let me guess. You're going to come bursting on out as soon as I grab what's here. Sometimes nothing is scarier than something, wouldn't you agree? I mean, no door swinging open to reveal a hideous monster, no gurgling sounds from within. Just the fact that nothing happened to torment us. Not like in the shadows in the corner of this storage room. Makes it feel like something that was there all along will suddenly reveal itself as I'm looking at something. More ammo, thank you. That's enough to actually do a fair bit of combat. Although I'm sure, as all survival horror games have taught me, every time it looks like it's being generous with the ammo, it's just so that it can throw more my way and bleed me through it. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but there's just something about the isometric perspective that really seems to, like, emphasize the dread and the loneliness and really push, like, the contemplative nature of the game itself. And this isn't even the first to do it. I mean, there have been, like, Flash games in the past that went for a similar vibe. I'm going to shoot you, and you're going to die, and I'm going to stomp you to death. And two bullets, not bad at all, but what is that mass in the corner? I get the impression I shouldn't be getting too close, but get too close I shall. It's... breathing? At this stage, I don't want to waste ammo, but... I feel like maybe there could be something gained from putting a few rounds into it. It's a locked Mensa key required. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem edible. Well, maybe not to us. I mean, it's not just a zombie virus. There's some measure of intelligence here. There is a lock on, so it'll tell us if we're actually about to hit you. Two shots, and stomp, uh, and how are we doing on ammo at this stage? Uh, still three bullets loaded, so that's fine for now. Uh, there's the Minsa key. Uh, this place really is a wreck. And we're uncovering a lot of doors here. Uh, department, kitchen staff, worker quarters, spatial navigation module. Note, my mapping module is still defective and won't show any map data. I keep getting lost on my way to work and back. I had to sleep in a hallway last cycle because I couldn't find the staff elevator to get to my dorm. Please, I can't find my way around this place without a map. So does that mean we ourselves could have a map at some point? Doors locked. Thank you. 
Honestly, that is just a sight for sore eyes every time I see that. Hmm, do we all look the same? Simple Universal Light Replica Yule. Oh, we really do. I keep seeing little things appear. Like little artifacts, and I'm not sure if it's meant to be that way. Although, as I'm traversing this area, I should probably be keeping my gun trained on you. If anything's gonna burst out of nowhere, it's gonna be from there. There's the Mensa key. There's two of them. Let's reload. It's one, two. Okay, and get in there and stomp and stomp. I don't know how long we have, but I assume not long. And what are these? Are these supposed to be overhead lights? For a second, it looked like some sort of, like, UI. More ammo, yes, thank you. Those were a little bit tougher, and quite fast when they decided to move in on me. And another repair patch. I've got a whole bunch of these things. Haven't taken damage yet. Uh, but I have a feeling this is not the kind of game that's going to go easy on us. Look, all these little pixel moths flying about beneath the light. Uh, and a little red glow in the corner over here. Oh, it's a camera that just saw the whole thing. More ammo? Yes. Oh, you're spoiling me, game. You're spoiling me. I just have the urge to go back and save for every little thing I do. You were quite a bit bigger in size, too, it seemed like. Uh, how are we doing on ammo? Uh, zero. Zero bullets. That was our last one. Good thing I checked. So that's the other side of, I think, the kitchen area where we just were. This could be unlocked from the other side. And that gets us back to here where there's a new company. Okay, so you're like the basic enemies. Don't want to waste ammo on the ground. Where's, where's your other? There we go. See, on the one hand, I want to clear these things out so that they're dead forever, because presumably that's how that works. But I also know that by avoiding them, I can save ammo, which I may need later. It's the survival horror dilemma, and I don't know where this game falls in terms of that. Come on. Pick up broken key, yes. Does that mean I need the other half of a broken key? Well, I'm glad it at least informs me when I'm off camera. Hi. Do you have any idea how close you just were to getting shot? Can't lock on to you, though. You're... You're real tall. Can I... Let's unequip our pistol before we decide to do anything. Storch. Ah, uh, you were the one... You were the one Alina was talking about. You don't look like you belong here. You're an Elster unit, right? This facility is currently on lockdown. You shouldn't be here. And that's all you have to say about that. Uh, take another one of you. No space to carry West Wing Key. Okay, so we've got to go bank some of our stuff. Well, we got that from you. We, we actually don't even have to talk to you. Which is strange, but 
Yeah, I, I thought it was spoiling me on ammo, but even in just those brief couple of encounters, we burned through, like, all of it. I'm down to my last ten. Reloading actually cleared up the inventory space. I'm the protector controller on duty on this level. I don't know what kind of business you have here, but as you can probably see, we've got bigger issues right now. If you're looking for the commander, I have bad news for you. She got sick, and everyone else is getting sick, too. So you have more dialogue for me the more I click on you. You won't just give it to me all. That's really all I know about it. I'm sure the administrator knows more, but who knows where he is. There's a document over here about the administrator. Due to recent events, some security technicians will be serving both work shifts and night shifts. Uh, here's a list of affected guard units. Until an effective treatment is found, or reinforcements are sent from Heimat, we'll all have to stay strong and do our best to keep the facility secure. Failure is not an option. P.S. Keep an eye on the administrator unit. Since the incident, he's been acting stranger than usual. Without the commander to keep him in check, we'll have to ask Colibri for help. Alright. You're, you're just way too casual about all this. Like, you take your job super seriously, but you're incapable of recognizing the gravity of the situation. I'm still real paranoid about something crawling out of that elevator at me. We can unlock the west wing and enter. The silence upon entering a new location is unbearable. Like, I actually feel almost a little bit of relief when I walk in and I can instantly see the enemy. That's another thing about uh, an isometric perspective, is that it leaves a lot to the imagination in terms of what your enemies actually look like. And you're down. Sometimes it might pay to uh, actually watch what you do, because I think I've wasted some bullets by, like, shooting you during your animation. And some more ammo, so we profited from that encounter. And there's another. Yep. And yep. Okay, so it's good to get the hang of this early before it starts causing other issues. Um, can I do that from here? Like, can I use with... I'm literally standing right on top of it. Oh no, there's more of you here. You know what? As long as there's more than one avenue open, we have the ability to go around. But this is one of those reasons why I actually really don't care for, like, really restrictive inventories in survival horror games. I mean, it can be good for, like, making sure you don't just loot the entire armory and go on a rampage, but also it leads to situations like this, where I have to do a whole shuffle every time I want to pick something up. Oh god. Okay, so new things can appear at times. No, no, oh god, they're getting back up. They're all getting back up. Please stay down, I can see one on the floor right there. Okay, so you're you're not dead forever. You're not dead forever. We're we're more incentivized than ever to move on then, right? I mean we 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 just can't linger. Exploring is not going to be our friend. It's a good thing I'm staggering my saves. Right, but once we... Once we get through here and pick this thing up... That's why you still vibrate on the ground, isn't it? We can pick that up and combine it in our inventory. Combine with you. 
And now we've got to go right on back if we want to open that box. What are our odds of making it by you? Go, 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 go. Can you catch us? Answer. Longer scale? Probably yes. But as long as you're... As long as you're tending your meat, as long as we keep moving... We should be alright. Use butterfly key? Absolutely. And what do we get? <laughs> Mysterious artifact. Plate of Eternity? Wow, that is a lot for us to just intuitively know. And our perspective shifts once more. This isn't just a stylistic thing, like, this is being used to represent something. Some kind of special locking mechanism. There's some sort of speaker or microphone on the front. But nobody home. These shifts in perspective, these are... These are very much an element in the story. This is meant to convey something. A dream or a memory. I can see some space through the window. Uh-huh. Now this is cozy. To Radio Officer Young, Station 6. Dear Iris, I hope you and Ariane are both well. I have spoken to the officials at Yon, and they agreed that it would be best for Ariane to attend school in Sector C. I have a spare room she can stay in until she graduates. I know you two are inseparable, but we both know that it's best for your daughter if she receives a normal education in the city. Love your sister, Camilla. There's a replica radio module in the box. Okay, we'll take that and install it. Uh, the radio module can receive radio transmissions on frequencies between 50 and 250 kilohertz. Access the radio module by pressing up in the inventory screen. When tuned to certain frequencies, automatically decoded messages will appear in the transcription window. All right, so let's try that out now. Oh, wow. Uh, so we do keep a memory of all these things. Hmm. Something's coming through now. Well, for right now, it's just a radio report, but we can adjust frequency. And scan for other things. So if we go like this, maybe we can find something more? Receiving a string of numbers, much like... Much like what we were receiving in the first vision. Although, I can't recall if these are the same numbers. Hmm, actually, I'm having an idea. Maybe if we have the radio going... While this is here. Oh, yes, yes, 160. It was telling us to tune to 160, uh, which we already discovered. Perhaps this will allow us to get through. There we are. Oh, we can use this for all kinds of things. That is such a cool mechanic. Uh, I, I was actually just talking about this with my brother Dan earlier tonight. How uh, the way forward, I think, in terms of games is interactivity in, in terms of like the gear and just the stuff. Taking things that previously would have been relegated to just a button press and making it so that you're actually actively involved in it no matter how simple it is. This seems like it's really got the right idea. But what this artifact actually is, I've... No idea. 
A heavy hexagonal stone plate feels warm to the touch. What if we inspect? The surface appears to be made of smooth, polished black marble or granite, but there's something soft and wet inside. Does it contain flesh? Well, I've got something else now on 141.8. 2996. Oh, wait, maybe that's. There was a safe. There was another safe. Maybe that could be that? Let's try that. 29961. No. But we'll keep it in mind. It's clearly for something. Yep, you guys are starting up again. Which is not what I need. Oh man, these staggered saves are really going to be a lifesaver. Alright, let's make our way through the showers here and see what we can do. Huh. Reflections not helping me right now. Why does everything here have to be so shiny? Uh, take a stun prod. We're getting so many of these. Maybe I should start using these instead of bullets. Like maybe I can zap somebody. They go down and I get the stomp. Search protocol. Uh, workplace political morals class. Items watch ring. Arrested in ongoing investigation, stolen radio, original reason for transfer, counter-revolutionary activity, distributing flyers at university. Julia Huang, arrested on suspicion of bioresonance, uh, confiscated hydroxycarbamide pills have been sent to the medical wing. A special supervision request has been forwarded to Calabri. Uh, Alina Sio. Cosmetic box with butterfly inlay. That was hers. Uh, collapsed at the workplace from exhaustion. Bunk was searched before transfer to medical wing. Heinrich Fukuyama. Uh, mining operation A. Recent transfer from factory. Arrested on suspicion of conspiracy against the state. Well, what they took was a fountain pen, so... That reads like conspiracy against the state was writing something critical. No, you do not. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. I should have used the prod. I've got, like, no ammo left. And you are not going to stay down forever, are you? We can go forward in both counts. And we can go to the right, and that will take us back onto here, which brings us close to a save, which is very good. I'm in dire need of more ammo. Maybe... Maybe I can just run and grab repair spray. Thank you. You actually haven't noticed me. This is actually something I was hoping for. This is a survival horror game where running or sneaking are viable. A lot of games kind of fail at that step, but this one seems to be doing it. Running not viable if you're tied down to a chair. Frequencies. Moon, sun, scales, rook, tree, sword. Alright, so, uh, wh where do we start? Uh, 51? Let's try that. I'm picking up some very faint music. Or at least, maybe not music, but some type of tone. Alright, forget, forget all the distractions, because there may be a lot here. Let's just go straight down to 51.
204512. Something, like, whatever the answer actually is, is going to make sense with some clue that's around. Well, as much as I cannot wait to start playing around with this radio mechanic and figure out how to get into that safe, I think that's going to have to wait until next time. My prediction for this game, based on what I've seen so far, is that it's going to be very simple in its presentation, really adapting almost like flash game style survival horror gameplay, with some very complex themes and ideas. And when you start talking about replicas, we're already talking about like what it actually means to be a person in a society that seemingly already dehumanizes its human population. And I'm imagining that's only just the beginning, because we ourselves are only at the beginning. We clearly don't know even as much as our character does, and our character doesn't seem to know much about what's going on here. The survival horror mechanics themselves are exactly what I was hoping for so far, where it's not just about using as little ammo as possible to kill everything, but there's actually real value in trying to sneak around, and actually trying to clear something out is a decision, a luxury that you decide to spend on. The visuals, and yes, even this visual right here, are an absolute pleasure to look at. It is so satisfying. And it looks so simple at first, but when, when you look past the pixelation and see all the stuff it's doing, like look at these split shadows, the reflections we've seen, you realize that this is very much doing a lot. And like I said before, it's hard to put to words, but there's just something about this perspective that really hammers home the sense of dread and isolation. A sense of dread and isolation that certainly helps push the hopelessness our character must feel, pushing through all of this out of a sense of obligation to this person that is clearly so important to us, but with hope fading with each horrific scene we come across. These graphics are certainly in a strange state where they seemingly show so much and yet still leave so much to the imagination. Especially when it comes to the creatures themselves, those creatures that came out of the mines as a sickness and seemingly can't die permanently, but do display some signs of intelligence. That's what's stopping this from being a typical zombie story. We see them holding weapons and preparing meat. Some of them changed quite a bit more than others. I just don't know what to make of that. And then there's the king in yellow, that vision in the beginning that adds a whole other Lovecraftian element to this. Well, my voice has absolutely had it, as the numerous retakes have shown in this outro. So, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. By the way, if you subscribe to the Patreon, you can see any currently available episodes right now instead of waiting for them to release on the channel. And, as always, I will see you in the next one.